Meghan Markle's desire to prove herself at odds with Camilla's new queen consort role. A royal expert analyzed Meghan Markle's personality and insinuated there was a lesson she could learn from Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall after she was given the new role of queen consort. Royal biographer Angela Levin discussed the news that Camilla would become queen consort when Prince Charles ascends the throne and looked at other royal family members and how they would be suited for the role. GB News presenter Raymond Holmes asked whether there was a lesson the Duchess of Sussex could learn from Camilla before Ms. Levin chuckled and called it a very good question. The royal expert believed Meghan had a desire to constantly prove herself which goes against working as a team which is required in the royal family. Speaking on GB News, Ms. Levin spoke with Mr. Holmes about the news that Camilla would become queen consort and what that would mean for the wider royal family. Mr. Holmes asked the royal expert, the terrible abuse, whether rightly or wrongly, Camilla, got at the start of the relationship, yet she has come out of the other side. Do you think there is a lesson in this somewhere for the Duchess of Sussex? Ms. Levin remarked it was a good question before explaining, I think the Duchess of Sussex has a very different personality. Camilla comes from a solid background, she had parents who loved each other and brought her up in a very easy way. I think the Duchess of Sussex needs to prove herself non-stop, to take on everything she possibly can. Because she needs to be there in the front and is not somebody who wants to work as a team. Whereas Camilla doesn't want to put herself out there. She has to win and we've seen this with all these legal charges. Very difficult a woman I think. The Queen wrote in a statement marking her jubilee on Sunday, when, in the fullness of time, my son Charles becomes king. I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support that you have given me. The Queen also reflected on her family and support network in the letter and added, I am fortunate to have had the steadfast and loving support of my family. I was blessed that in Prince Philip I had a partner willing to carry out the role of consort and unselfishly make the sacrifices that go with it. It is a role I saw my own mother perform during my father's reign. However, the announcement of Camilla becoming Queen Consort has garnered criticism as it had been expected she would only become Princess Consort out of respect for Princess Diana. Speaking on Good Morning Britain, Newsweek royal journalist Jack Royston reflected on the Queen's announcement and its impact on public opinion. He told the program, I've got absolutely nothing against Camilla. This isn't about how she does the job, she does the job well and she's highlighted some really good causes. The point here is that the public doesn't want it, the numbers are really clear, they might be less forceful in their opinion now than they were in the past. But 44% of people want her to be princess consort rather than queen consort. And 14% want her to be queen consort so that is really, really stark and clear in terms of where public opinion lies. I think it's also really important to think back a little bit to what was kind of going on at the time that this decision was originally made. The charge against her back in the days of Princess Diana was that they were emotionally indifferent to Diana that she was suffering and that they didn't care. So removing that now leaves them once again more vulnerable to that allegation of emotional indifference.
public doesn't want it, the numbers are really clear, they might be less forceful in their opinion now than they were in the past. But 44% of people want her to be princess consort rather than queen consort. And 14% want her to be queen consort so that is really, really stark and clear in terms of where public opinion lies. I think it's also really important to think back a little bit to what was kind of going on at the time that this decision was originally made. The charge against her back in the days of Princess Diana was that they were emotionally indifferent to Diana that she was suffering and that they didn't care. So removing that now leaves them once again more vulnerable to that allegation of emotional indifference. 